it is showtime. Do it up. All right, so where are we starting off at, NBO? Sorry, say again? I said, where are we starting off at here? I'm okay. sorry. First, first step, what we want to do is show people how to set up a Blockso wallet. So we're going to go right just down that uh, that little list. Yep, yep, yep. So let me just connect mine real quick while also doing that. Bang, bang. All I right. I so. getting ready. If, if anyone has questions, um, please do drop them in the Office Hours channel. We are going to be running through every single step you will need to take in order to unlock the 25 flow. Um, but if you lose us along the way, if you have specific questions, please let us know in the Office Hours channel where I will say hello. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I mean, we're, we're walking through every step of the process from creating the block to a wallet to, hey, you know, we have flow enablement happening in your Dapper wallets right now. You might have some flow in there from one reason or another, or you might get one soon uh, from the supposed truckload happening. Um, so I think that's going to really help here. So I know just starting right here at the top, we, we mentioned just creating a Blockdo wallet. So um, you can just start right here. I obviously already have one, but we want to create a new one here. Um, and I'm going to do Trevor at floaty.io. Or is it, what's the email, I believe, right? Yeah. And it's going to yes, just right. it's gonna send me over an email. Uh, we don't need to go through all my emails real quick, but I can bring that up uh, once it can't, comes through to my email address. There it is. Before, bang. And so I just created a new Blockdo wallet. And so creating that wallet is as simple as that. Um, it's connected directly to um, ideally like a Gmail address, just like uh, things like your uh, top shot um, account and everything like that makes it really easy to recover. Uh, very simple. So you see up here now I got my address and my new currencies in there. And are, are we going over then? Let me, I had to close my stuff there as I reset my PC. Uh, but are we going over and transferring it over from my uh, Dapper wallet? Yeah, now, Mike. Uh, so, so what, where I'd go next is the first step you need to do in order to uh, to go through the four active tasks you can do on Floaty is to yep. withdraw a moment from your Topshot account to your Blockdo. So now you have a Blockdo wallet that you've set up the way Trevor showed you how to do it. And what you're going to want to do next is how do you get a moment from your Topshot account to your Blockdo wallet? Yeah, so we have... Are you, I'm assuming you're seeing the intangible market tool yes, right here. Yes, we are. Absolutely. So, sweet. Uh, so if I wanted to, actually, I should probably have grabbed the, an, a moment real quick here, but let me grab it. Just any moment. And one thing to keep in mind is that in order to extract a moment from your Dapper wallet to your Blockdo or Lilico wallets is that, I think, or does Lilico support Top Shot yet? I'm assuming uh, it does. I don't believe so. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go through, and I need to make sure it's one that I've had in my account for at least seven days because uh, Dapper Wallet will not let you extract a moment if it hasn't been sitting in your account for seven days. So that's something to keep in mind here on the front end and when you're doing uh, rentals. So we'll see. Does, did it go over to my Dapper screen now? Yes. Yes, you're sharing your window. Whatever you see, we can see. Perfect. So we'll see here. I can connect my wallet. Um, and I'm if this is uh, saying I'm going to send this to my floaty address here that I just set up my Blockdo wallet for. So now I'm basically just saying, hey, I want to go ahead and send this moment from my Dapper wallet to my Blockdo wallet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type the steps you just did into the Office Hours channel just so everyone can follow on. One, go to... NBA top shot and grab the URL. Keep going. Yeah, so um, uh, do you want me to go ahead and just send it? I mean, I, I can. Yeah, yeah. This is more showcasing how it works. If you already have moments in your block, though, that's fine. Yeah, I already got some over there in my main one. Um, that's perfect. But sweet. So, so, I mean, so honestly, basically what we've shown so far, right just so we can, we can review it, is we've shown how to create and set up a Blockto wallet. 
and how to move a Top Shot moment from your Top Shot account to your Blockto account. If anyone is, has questions about what we've covered already, just jump into the Office Hours channel. I'm going to try to put notes in here so you can follow along too. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's take us all the way through getting this. And if I just hit this right here, this moment is going to appear in my Blockto wallet. So then I can go and list it on Floaty. Uh, for either as collateral taking a loan against or if I wanted to rent it out. And so we have gone ahead uh, actually and listed a few of these because there is a, a few minute cool down when you do list something and we didn't want to kind of wait through all the cool downs and everything like that. I'll probably disconnect this while I connect my share. Because uh, we're doing this through our main wallet or should I do it through the floaty wallet? Block uh, web, I mean, what are, you, you no, you should do it through your wallet, wherever you have moments and uh, the flow tokens. Yeah, well, actually, because I still have uh, the flow tokens in my Dapper wallet, and so I want to be able to go through and showcase how we're going through and sending that's, that's flow step tokens. To show. Uh, so I'll, I'll be able to go through that. Um, so I don't know if you guys have this already, and uh, Mike, maybe you could go through and link exactly where this is at. Uh, where I can in office hours. Bang. So if you go right here, you can see all your balances in your Dapper wallet. And you can see right here, I have some flow tokens sitting in here. And so if I wanted to go and send these out from my Dapper wallet to uh, my Blockto, I'm sorry, doing two things at once right now. So I have that ready. Dress. So I can go into here and I can withdraw some of my flow tokens from my Dapper wallet to another wallet exchange, blah, 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 blah. So I want to send, I think we were doing 30 flow tokens, right, MBL? Yeah, you probably need like 10 or 15, so I guess round up just in case. Um, and so I just grabbed my Blockto wallet address from the other tab there. And I'm able to say, hey, I'm going to send the, those 30 flow tokens from my Dapper wallet to my Blockto wallet. And you see, this is all free to do um, because there's no gas or anything like that. I'm surprised to see this, but yeah, I'm going to say a few cents. Of course, they want to verify a transaction like this as I send money in and out. If this, this has trouble getting through, let me know and I can just fire you some flow over. Your block this is actually my first time ever sending uh, anything out of my Dapper wallet in terms of flow tokens. So we're, we're doing this a little live. Uh, but this is pretty cool uh, being able to do this because this was something that hadn't been possible before. Um, so ideally, these tokens then come through from my Dapper to my Blockto. And now I'll be able to fund and be able to participate in some of the marketplace activities. Uh, we see over here, I have listed two different uh, items here for uh, Mike to be able to go in and either rent or um, take a loan or I guess fund a loan that I have put up. Uh, so on this end here, you want me to go ahead and hop into this, Mike? Yeah, so, so, so just to kind of step back a little and, and kind of talk through what we're doing. So the first couple of steps we just did were to, to prepare to use and engage with the Floaty platform, set up your Blockto wallet, get tokens into your Blockto wallet, and get moments into your Blockto wallet. So now Trevor's accomplished all of those. So the next thing to progress to is how do you actually go ahead and do the four different things you can do on the Floaty platform? And so the first one we're going to showcase is Trevor's going to show what it looks like to actually put a loan up on Floaty. Yeah, absolutely. So um, and one thing to note is that those 30 flow tokens did come through. I see those now sitting right here in the top right. So I have those 30 flow tokens available to me in my Blockto wallet. Um, so which, which side should we, uh, go through the process of setting up, um, I'll do loan first. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to put up a new loan here. 
uh, and I can start from the top, you know, if I were going to go put up, like, my Fl Flover socks, which, you know, has all um, some hype building from NFT day as they go and try to build a new platform that does a lot more analytics on your Flow NFTs and everything like that. So very cool. But if I wanted to go and take out a loan using my socks as collateral, um, you know, I could go and list it up in one of these four currencies that are available on Flow blockchain, whether it's the Flow tokens, like I just went and uh, received, like if Mike wanted to go and fund this in Flow tokens, or, you know, you wanted to go and you know, make this a little bit, I'd say, you know, less risky in, in ways and use a stable coin instead of something like Flow that is variable, you could switch to one of these other ones. I know we see a lot of people um, doing loans in USDC and USDT typically. Uh, but yeah, I could go through and say, I wanted to receive a thousand dollars on this here. So uh, I wanted to receive a thousand flow tokens on this. Sorry, I forgot we went to flow tokens, not USDC. Um, and for this, I wanted to say, yeah, I'll, I'll give them 10% to facilitate this and let me borrow. Oops, did my screen freeze on me? Did Discord just freeze? Um, yeah, so yeah, you're, you're frozen or aren't. I can, I, can, um, I can take over if you're on while you're getting that sorted. Of course, it looks like, yeah, my screen completely froze on me for just that window. Right, awesome. I'm, ta I'm taking over the. I. Just to show the next step. Okay, so. Wait, hopefully everyone is seeing. Is this now my side or yours? Stream. Is my screen being shared right now? Yeah, Does I just verify that. It's yours. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um. So. What we're now showcasing is Trevor was showing the loan process. What does it look like to list a new loan? So Trevor went through that process. The result of that is once you have put up a new loan listing, it makes its way into our loan marketplace. So how do you get to the loan marketplace? You arrive at Floaty, you click marketplace, and then you can choose between loans and rentals. And so you choose loans. So. For our example, Trevor is listing Harrison Barnes. He went through a flow versus socks example, which is fine, but for our purposes, this is also a Trevor listing. And so Trevor has now put up a listing. Trevor's friend, Mike, me. Okay, okay. All right, so let me stop and then reshare. Discord giving us issues. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was just my end or on yours too. Let's see. Okay, what about now? Yeah. Good now. Okay, so. So Trevor went through the process to show you how to put up a new listing. When once you've put up a new listing, this is where the listing ends up in our loan marketplace. And so as I ran through, you start at the floaty landing page. You can click marketplace. You can navigate down to loans or rentals. We're doing loans for current purposes. And you can do this on your mobile also. So for those watching or listening on mobile, you just click marketplace. You make sure you're in loans. And then what I'm going to do on my end is show you what it looks like to fund a loan. So Trevor and I are doing this together. We're two friends who want to do the promotion together. Trevor put up a listing. I am now going to say I want to fund the listing. So we each would have completed one step so far. So to fund, you click a listing from the marketplace, click Harrison Barnes, and then click fund. It gives you the details of what you're funding. I say next, we get some warnings, which are important. Read these, please. And then you click fund. And so now I am funding the loan. You can see it's a pretty straightforward process. We have a little bit of a loading wheel. Hopefully you enjoy the thematic similarity with this green being the same as the floaty green dot and you approve the transaction. That is a normal screen. That is just you saying, I approve this happening. I want to do this. I want to move forward with this. It is a blockchain special. And so now what we are doing is we are showing a loan funding process. Um, 
Trevor, do you want to take back over, or should I just run? Uh, I'd say run, but, you know, I, I do want to highlight, you know, why and some practicality behind going and funding some loans right now. Aside from, you know, you have a lot of people out there maybe with some liquidity that you know, are looking to maybe make some interest back on their existing flow tokens or USDT, USDC, something like that. Uh, but we do have a lot of uh, airdrops happening across flow whether it's from the VIPs, from the Kube Collective, from, you know, supposedly this truckload of flow coming in, or you're doing a lot of trading right now on the Gaia marketplace. Um, I think there's a lot of influx of flow token accessibility here. And so this provides an opportunity, aside from just spending your flow in, um, you know, just on moments and everything like that, you have the potential to, you know, maybe make some additional um, revenue opportunities um, by going and funding some loans. So, I, I, you know, as we go and take a step back and look at, you know, why is this relevant right now, that's, that's where I see this could be really useful, is people have a lot of flow and they don't know what to do with it. Does that seem about right, Mike? talking myself okay cool i i, I was worried i was i lost it but I, this, it seems like uh discord's rugging us pretty hard right now yeah we hear you now oh, we're overwhelming discord okay so yeah to trevor's point you know we all have a lot of uh top shot knowledge we all have a lot of flow collection knowledge and so what L right now your options are general you can buy you can sell and it's just really the timing of those this allows you to say, okay, is this a good risk reward to, in this example, Jokic put up $356 and either get back $395 from the borrower or get this underlying moment. And it's an interesting different sort of analysis that allows you to think in a different way. Um, okay, so what we've done so far is now accomplished two of the four things you need to do. You, we've put up a loan listing that was funded by someone else. We've funded a loan listing. That's two of the things you need to do. And so now we're gonna move on to the how the functional rental side of things works. And so before we move on, does anyone have any questions about the process we just went through, about how you would fund a loan, about how you would go and list a loan? Yeah, I think the other side of practicality uh, for loans right now is, you know, we have these NBA run it back drops happening right now. Um, you know, you're able to pay actually for your packs using your Flow wallet, uh, only using your Blockdo wallet. So if you were able to take out a loan to get some liquidity for this drop, and you got your loan funded, you would be able to use those funds and directly pay for your packs on uh, the rare or legendary packs coming to today or tomorrow. So just something to keep in mind there. Uh, a lot of people do that as a way to, so that they don't have to put in new money. They can use this to leverage their existing collection to get that liquidity to maybe land one of these packs. Uh, so just providing the other side of you know, maybe some of the practicality. Right. Um, makes a lot of sense. So I see Orange Monarch asked, how long does the dapper to block to transaction usually take? So the first time you ever withdraw, it takes about 24 hours. After that, it should be pretty instant. And so I'm assuming it's the first time you've withdrawn. If it's not, then we should look into that. Um, Garlic Donut, I see you typing away there. Let us know if you have any questions. So for now, again, just a quick review. We've created a block to wallet. We have moved a moment from Upshot using the intangible market tool to reach our block bill wallet. We have put up a loan listing by clicking new loan here. We have funded a loan by selecting something in the marketplace and clicking fund. And now we are halfway done with what we need to do. Yeah, you know, actually, yeah, you know, since we got garlic donut in here, yeah, you know, we've just been talking about NBA to top shop moments. Um, you know, he's Garlic Donuts got their Flovatar there, and we need to not forget that Flovatar is one of these funded and supported collections. And you know, another um, practicality use is Flovatar does have their land drop, uh, land pack drop coming next week. You could utilize your existing Flovatars to get liquidity to be able to fund that pack drop that's coming next week. So a lot of um, you know ways to utilize this for um, 
handling upcoming drops uh, across all these different NFT projects. Definitely, definitely. And we love the flow of Atari's. Um, okay, so moving on to task numbers three and four, which is put up a rental and rent a rental. First, how do you put up a rental? So now we navigate to our marketplace. We go to rentals, we click new rental, and this allows you to now choose any NFT from your wallet that's supported on Floaty. I will choose the Michael Green for our example. Then it's pretty straightforward. All you choose is the token type like Trevor went through before. You choose how long you want the rental to last, and we'll talk about what that means. You choose a rental fee and you choose a refundable deposit. So going through each of these components, the duration is how long a renter has to give it back to you. And so let's say I go with 10 days. What this means is once a renter has rented this moment, they have 10 days to give it back to me or they forfeit their refundable deposit and you get to keep it. So what you then pick is your rental fee, how much you wanna charge someone for renting your moment and then secondly, a refundable deposit. And refundable deposit is important because this is the incentive that the renter has to return your moment. They've rented a moment from you, and at that point, it's in their account fully owned by them, but they've put up, in this case, $40. And the only way for them to get their $40 back is by returning the rented NFT. And so the refundable deposit ensures that the renter is properly incentivized and aligned to return your NFT, and should they choose not to, or forget to, or do something else that ends up with them not returning the NFT within 10 days, you get the refundable deposit net of the, the royalty. And so these are the components you choose, duration, rental fee, refundable deposit, and then once you've put that listing up, this is exactly what it looks like in the marketplace. So we'll close this for now, and we'll assume that we just watched Trevor put up this Kyle Anderson listing where Trevor said, I want to charge someone five flow tokens to borrow Kyle Anderson. I have a refundable deposit requirement of 10 flow tokens, so you need to give me 15 tokens up front. And so what I am going to do is I am going to rent this moment from Trevor. And so now remember, it's a Kyle Anderson common moment. And we enable automatic returns, which I'm not gonna spend time on now because I wanna be time conscious. We have some terms which you should read through. And then you click rent. And you approve the transaction. And now what's happening is 15 flow tokens are leaving my wallet. Five of them are being distributed to us, the platform, and to the original owner. 10 of them are being put in escrow just in case this moment isn't returned. And so this 10 will easily come back to me as soon as I return the moment. It will actually show that process. Um, okay, cool. We should be good on our end. Trevor, on your end, and now you can see, look, if, you, if this is a rented moment now, and so now if I go to my wallet, I can see Kyle Anderson. So now Kyle Anderson is in my wallet. I fully control this asset until I want to return it. So one, if I want to return it, and what I want to do is go to the menu page here, click on activity as a renter. So now we want to go again, menu, activity, rentals, not loans, and then we are a renter here. You got a renter, it shows all your rental activity. I've rented this Kyle Anderson moment. Now I want to return it. So again, I have nine days to return it. Here's a nice countdown for you. It expires in eight days, 23 hours, and 58 minutes. If I wait until the end of this timer, I will lose my deposit. But if I return it, I right now have 189 flow. Hopefully that's updated. As soon as I return it, which I'm going to do right now, click return, return. I will approve the, the blockchain transaction and I will lose the moment, sending it now back to Trevor and get 10 flow back from the refundable deposit. And that is how you return the rental. Very, very straightforward. Um, Trevor, if you don't mind, can you fill um, my loan so I can repay your loan and just show people what that looks like? 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, before we get over to the loan, though, I yeah, I wanted to touch a little bit back on the practicality side. Why would you want to go and rent this Kyle Anderson for me? That's a you great know, why, question. Why, would, why does anybody do rentals on Floaty? So for, for top shot purposes, the biggest use case is for challenges. So assume Kyle Anderson was in a challenge. I don't want to buy the asset. I don't want to own it long term, but I want to complete the challenge and I'm willing to pay a, you know, a small fee to get the moment on a temporary basis. But I don't want to deal with buying it and then selling it. I don't want to pay the expenses that I don't want to take the valuation risk of that. Rentals are a really, really good option for you. And on the other side of the equation, if you have a huge stack of Kyle Anderson moments and you don't want to sell them, but you want to monetize the transaction, uh, you want to monetize the challenge opportunity, you now have the opportunity to rent it out. You can monetize the asset without being forced to sell it. And so it's a really nice tool for the user base to be able to take advantage of the fact that uh, Dapper has these challenges that result in... Uh, players being more valuable on a temporary period of time. Would you call it gamification? I might. I might. <laughs> I might. I would, I would think about that for sure. Um, okay, I, so... You know sorry. what? I'm, I'm, I want to highlight you know, something else there. You know, as we did start working with uh, Flash to Cash a little bit, I see Boards the Buckets, uh, Dream Shaker out there, you know, and uh, Brandon Lewis is part of the Flash to Cash team there. And we've talked about, you know, why someone would want to go about renting moments uh, out, you know, for Flash challenges and things like that. So if you haven't already, make sure you go check out his content because um, he's really looking to identify maybe some of these moments ahead of their pump as to why, um, you know, they would potentially receive that. And so these are ideally moments then that if they do hit would be um, moments that would be prime renting items. So just something I wanted to throw out there as we uh, recently started working with them. Exactly right. Um, okay, cool. So Trevor, if you don't mind on this side, so right now I have, uh, maybe you've done it actually, no you haven't, okay. So I have a loan listing that I've put up. It's John Quell Jones. I, I'd like to borrow five flow. So do you mind just funding this? Do you want me to drive? No, or, yeah, you, I mean, you can just do it on your end, and then I'll, sh I'll show the repayment process. Perfect. Going through and finding um, it right Okay, now. so while Trevor's doing that, does anyone have questions about what we've gone through? See, DCS so, is typing. So again, I'm, I, I like to do the full review process. We've talked about setting up a, a blocked wallet. So that was step one. Um, step two, move a top shot moment into your blocked account. Step three, put up a loan listing. Come to Floaty's website, click new loan, choose your top shot moment, go through the listing process, add it to the marketplace. Step four, fund a loan. Find anything you want in here that looks attractive to you, actually fund the loan. Step five, put up a new rental. Take a top shot moment, put it up in the rental listing marketplace. Step six, rent a moment. Uh, we, for the promotion purposes, are not looking at whether or not you return money, you return the rental, but we're just showcasing how that works right now. Step five is to complete the Google form, which is right here. I am going to drop it into the chat again, and I want to open it up so everyone can see exactly what that looks like. So once you have done all the steps we described, what you're going to do, does that work? Yeah, we can you see Do you guys it. see the, uh, the Google form or you can't see it? No, we can see it. Can? Okay, great. Yep. So the Google form is really straightforward. All you do is you copy your Blockto address and to copy your Blockto address, you can just go to your profile and grab it right here, easy enough. Put it here, then you copy your Discord ID, that's easy, just drop it in, your Top Shot ID. And just so everyone knows, the reason we ask for your Top Shot ID is so we can verify that you're not just one person doing this contest or promotion 200 times with different block to addresses. Top Shot has an embedded KYC, and so we are making sure you have a Top Shot ID 
and that you actually own the Top Shot ID. If you didn't, if we didn't ask this second question, you could just grab a list of 200 Top Shot IDs and we can't verify that. Instead, we've asked you to list a random moment in your account for $34,431 to show that you own the account. And all you do is grab the transaction URLs from your transactions, submit the form, Um, so DCS asked about minimum yep. rental fees, and uh, the, the answer DCS is is yes. We're actually working on potentially slightly tweaking our fee structure, and that will remove the idea of a of a need for a minimum rental fee. Part of the reason we had it right now is to declutter the marketplace. Basically, say to people, you know, if if you if you want to use the rental platform, you know, we want to make sure you actually want to use it. You don't want to just uh, spam the marketplace with essentially free listings. And so it, it was partially a clutter thing, partially the way our fee is structured, but over time we probably will reduce that, yes. And I see RotoFlow typing, but anyway, so to get the links of what you've been doing, we want to direct you back to, you go to this menu and you go to activity, your personal activity, and it's sorted into loans and rentals. So for the loan activity, you're either a borrower or a lender, or you can just look at your general activity, and you just go to the account and you click. So this John Quell Jones is my loan that Trevor funded. And so what I would want to do is copy this URL, and this is the, the transaction where I was a borrower. Paste it in. Great. On the other transaction, we can go back. Um, on the other transaction, I was the lender. So what we want to do, I'm just going to show an example, is grab this listing and put it into the Google form. Great. And then you submit it when you're done. That no, is, Mike. yes. Uh, so Roto just dropped uh, something in the chat. They're a little confused on terminology uh, for funding a loan versus renting. Um, sure. So yeah, I, I don't know if you want to dig in just a little bit. What is the exact difference in what, like the who the maybe who's in owning the NFTs on both sides of the transactions? Yeah, for sure. So, so loans and rentals. The key difference is on the loan side of things. What you are looking to borrow is money. You you need liquidity. You want to go buy something. You have an expense, and so in order to access that money, you are saying to someone. I want to borrow money from you. I want a personal loan. If I don't repay you, you get my NFT. And so the objective of the loan side of things is accessing a personal loan using your NFT as collateral. Um, during the term of the loan, the NFT itself is not accessible to either the borrower or the lender. So the lender in that case is lending you money and if you don't repay them, they get the NFT. And so it's it's a pawn shop style transaction. On the rental side of things, you are actually looking to rent the NFT itself. You don't need money. You want the NFT for some sort of temporary utility. And the, the purpose, the, the, the money serves is ensuring that someone returns the NFT. So it's almost actually switching NFT and money in the two cases. Um, and you're you're far from the first person to ask that question. Do not well, I've worry. I've used many times, you know, especially early on, in you know, knowing the motivations for all four people um, that would be involved in in all these types of transactions here. Where like, you know, why would someone go to uh, fund a loan? You know, someone would fund a loan because they want to either make some passive income on some existing liquidity, or they want to acquire that asset hopefully at a premium cost. Um, someone might take out a loan though to fund a large purchase or they wanna you know, take those funds and do something with it without having to put in new money like a pack drop. So if somebody wanted to go and get $119 to be able to fund this pack drop, they would go and take out a loan and use their moment as collateral that they, would, they could lose if they do not pay back their loan. And then on the rental side, somebody might have a bunch of moments in their collection and they do not plan on participating in a challenge or they have a stack of moments 
and that hits in a challenge and they don't want to go and disperse of their whole collection that of, of the stack here, they can go and rent these moments out on Floaty to someone that is looking to complete those challenges and someone can complete those challenges for the cost of essentially the rental fee plus the collateral um, or the deposit that's being put down there. Where then, you know, again, someone might look to rent out a moment because they're trying to do these challenges and be able to complete this challenge or maybe relatively cheaper than going and buying all these moments off the marketplace and provides a trusted system to be able to facilitate all of these transactions in one. Did that seem about right there, Mike? Yeah, no, no, that, that's, uh, that's exactly right. And so I think, I think as, as, just to wrap up this particular session, so first of all, what I want to ask is, is anyone following along with this and doing it themselves? Because I know Orange Monarch mentioned you were going to, but I haven't seen listings pop up. I guess Orange Monarch, you're waiting for your moment to arrive. Is there anyone who's doing this right now who has questions? And if not, I think I'm going to spend the next you know, three minutes just doing a quick uh, rundown of exactly what the steps you need to do are again, because you know, we've, we've intertwined some commentary, some other thoughts. Yeah, e exactly. So Dream, Dream Shaker, for anyone who's listening, not looking, um, mentioned that what's a Dream Shaker are. I don't know. I know you was just Dream, really. Anyway, Dream, very dreamy individual, good person, um, is saying that this allows you to generate passive income renting out moments instead of locking your moments on the leaderboard and not being able to do something like this. And so we very much agree. We think it's a big consideration for viewers. It should be a big consideration for people to think about, can you rent out moments? Um, and do you want to rent out moments instead of locking your assets? And so definitely think about that before you lock. Um, okay, great, Dream. I'm happy to hear that. And so just for Dream's purposes and for everyone else's purposes, starting from the very top here, your first step is to create a Blockto wallet. How do you do that? You click Connect Wallet, you click Blockto, and if you don't already have one, you click. You would click Sign Up. You would just put an email address in, click Sign Up, and that's it. I'm not gonna do it right now because then I have to re-log in, it's a whole process. So all you would do is type in an email address, sign up, they'll send you a code, and then you have a Blockto wallet. I'm gonna log back into my account, fantastic. Second thing you want to do, you want to go to your Top Shot account, go to your collection. Straining my computer. Go to your collection, grab a URL of a moment, and drop it into this tool, and click Export. Once you do that, the moment will now move to your inventory on the Floaty platform. Once you have it in the inventory, you can put up a new loan, going through the process that we described, once you've put up a new loan, that listing will be in the marketplace. Once it's in the marketplace, your friend can click it and click fund. That will then fund the loan. You've completed one step and your friend has completed one step. Now your friend should have put up a listing by going through the same process, new loan, putting up a listing, and you should fund it. Then you and your friend are each halfway through. Steps three and four, same exact thing but on the rental side. Click New Rental, choose a moment, put up the listing, and put all the terms you want, put up the listing, and it'll arrive in the marketplace. Have your buddy click into it and click Rent. This says delist, because it's actually my listing. I'm gonna choose another one. Click Rent, great, now you're done with three tasks, and then do vice versa. Have your buddy put up a rental, you rent it out. Fill out the Google form and you are done. You can choose if you want to repay the loans, re return the rentals, do whatever you want. We do not care on our end for promotional purposes. And that's the entire process. We, I think, you know, assuming someone knows what they're doing, it should take literally five minutes. Um, but we understand it's a little bit imposing or complicated, so we're here to answer any questions. But that is the entire process. And then here is the Google form. So. Hopefully this was helpful. We're definitely going to stick around for a few minutes to answer any questions. Hey, Celebert, great to have you in here. Celebert, what what happened to uh, you tapping into the uh, the Spain-based community for uh, for a few more promo participants? Is that still in play? Can we help anyone out there? 
Helmsberg actually uh, rented a moment from me recently. Nice. On the platform, it was uh, part of the WMGLE set there. Uh, for the most recent, uh, I think it was the last challenges that they had there with it. So that was pretty awesome, um, you know, being able to work with them on that and facilitate that. Fun uh, channel. This is how many forms completed? Probably 75. Uh, does the block uh, no, the wallet account go? The only purpose, so Dream asks if the block the wallet needs to have the same email address. The email address is, is almost like your key to your wallet. It's it's actually not you know not a huge factor at, at at all. It does it doesn't need to be the same as your top shot account. It just needs to be something you have access to. Yeah, and, and I mean I know I personally have like thirty blocked out wallets from Glowfest days. So yeah, I mean you can create it under any email address there. You can set up multiple. They don't really stop you from multi accounting on that side there. But um, you know having that. I know my main wallet is tied to the same email address as my top shot address, just for simplicity. I'm different, just for the record. Uh, but then, I didn't know if you wanted to, uh, I was going to share here, maybe just go through some of my recent activity, just to kind of prove again you know practicality and kind of nail that down, why somebody yeah. should go yeah, and want all list that and things. If anyone has questions, I just stopped streaming on my end about the process we ran through. Let us know. We think, I mean, realistically, it's a fairly straightforward thing to be giving out 50 bucks for. So we want people to be doing it. We think that it should be pretty attractive for people, but people haven't done it yet. So to the extent you're in here and you think you can help a friend do it, um, be a good friend. Help them get 50 bucks. Ask them for five bucks for your help. Ask them to buy you a beer next time you're out. Uh, yeah, so on my screen here, you're, you're going to see all the rentals I have done. Um, you know, this has been, as of recent, like mostly the MGLE challenges recently, you know, kind of been what I've been operating off of and uh, doing some rentals, uh, renting out some of my moments, because like we'll see here, this Karis LeVert in, in a uh, Kyrie Irving MGLE challenge. And so I put up my Karis LeVert here. I was able to make $20. I put this refund deposit of 215 down so that they didn't walk away with it. Um, and I was, so they had to put down a total of 235 up front, 215 getting locked um, up there, 20 of it going directly to me right away. And they ended up returning it. So I was able just to make 20 bucks off of my moment that I still have in my collection at the end of the day. Um, so I think that, yeah, an end is really cool for someone like me who has a lot of moments and I purposely did not go in and lock a bunch up so that I could go and do this. You know, we see I did this with uh, George Hill. I did this with uh, Dante DiVincenzo for some of these other MGLE challenges. And then um, mentioned I did that with the Della Don there. Uh, this or no, I, I changed this one actually because we changed, we negotiated some terms over DMs actually. Um, so where's, where did that one come back right here where I, I made $15, we, we had a, a side collateral in addition. Um, but yeah, I was able to make $15 celebrate was able to go and complete this challenge and only put $15 essentially toward it from this one here. So, um, I think that was very mutually beneficial from both sides there. So when, um, you know, a lot of these times when I've been doing, you know, after I make a, you know, a few of these rentals out is I've just been turning around and funding some loans, see if I can then turn it around into maybe some moments at a premium or just make a, some additional interest, you know, some passive income off of what I've already made from renting out my existing assets. So just something I, I've been doing uh, in my approach is trying to just, you know, bankroll one into the other here and roll it roll it on through. Did we lose MBL? No, I'm chilling. Oh, no, oh, there he is. I guess I didn't see you on the screen there. But yeah, no. Um, so just uh, some of my, what I've been doing with my time, um, I kind of take my existing assets and figure out what can I do with them to get I got, you know, some passive income out of them. So just figured I'd share.
That's, that, that's definitely helpful. And, and, and Dream, we, we appreciate you jumping in to participate in the promo soon. If anyone from your community wants to, to jump in also, I mean, realistically, if you get two buddies together, they each get 25 flow. Um, you know, it's, it's could be a fun little thing. Hop on a quick call, just run through it. We, we, we want to, uh, to give this out and we, we've got uh, quite a few slots left. We, we hung out with Brandon this other day, uh, kind of talking about you know some of the natural synergy between what Flash to Cash is providing, um, and, and how that could work out with Floaty, and how um, yeah that provides a little bit of a path of call to action. So um, yeah, I think that works out really well, and we'll probably be doing more with them here in the future. I know that Brand's yeah tight with you guys and everything like that. You know we've. To, you know, we're happy to hop on a stream or something like that. I know you got all your um, boards the bucket stream, so that's yeah, you know, happy to do that whenever if we want to walk through the community there. Um, yeah, we're, we're we're trying to make this very accessible and help walk people through the process. All right, cool. Um, so we'll give it a couple minutes, but if anyone doesn't have any questions, we can uh, we can wrap it up at that point. Celebrate. Which uh, trip did you go on for Access Unlocked? Was that for the WNBA Finals? Nice. I know uh, Alex uh, was there, Alexo. And then uh, a few others. Um, I think Veerman was. I recognize a few others from the Super game that ended up going to it. Uh, all right, Mike, what else you got to get off your chest here? I think that's it. I think yeah, that I think is it. Exactly all right, cool. Thing. Trevor, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. And everyone who joined, thank you very much for sticking around. Hopefully it gave you a little bit of a, a greater view into exactly how it works. And for anyone who, who felt like, you know, we kind of derailed a little bit, let us know and we can we can hop back on and run you through any part of the process. Um, do you think that whole dapper wallet holding flow now is making it a little bit easier? So um, yeah, I'm glad we're able to walk through that, go through and send flow tokens from your dapper wallet to Blockto to be able to participate in this, especially as we have all these airdrops coming through of flow tokens. What can you do with them now? And we're providing that opportunity. Uh, Will you guys support yeah. dapper wallet directly? Uh, you want to take we're, that? we're working on it. It's unfortunately not fully in our control, but to the extent we can, we definitely will. enough but uh yeah thanks everyone for coming out thank you back from dapper uh celebrate god the, yeah like yes they've told us they they can fix it but it's just not a priority for them right now if you want to go to twitter and tag them and let them know that that would be helpful that'd be cool nice nf tweaker